wings report in. Red leader standing by. If it was Zentai's coming here, and today we are back on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So, small little change. I did manage to upgrade my armor with a. Uh, ah, uh, whatever the guy's name is down there. Uh, I keep forgetting. I don't really interact with him all that much. But, figured we're getting further into the game. It's about time that I finally did, because that's. No. Figured, uh, we're getting further into the game. Might as well get some armor upgrades. And I did upgrade the armor a little bit. Although what I really need to be upgrading is my rations. Because I can still carry two. Uh, that's definitely got to be my next thing to upgrade. But in this episode... Oh jeez, we still have a lot of places. But I think in this episode, we are going to attempt to save Sigurd. It all How depends, though. Feel, Eivor? I would rather not talk about it. I understand. I want to see the Alliance map. Oh. Yeah, so that's where Sigurd is, which is weird because we were just over here. 160 Essex. Hmm. Uh. Wait. Where did they say he was? W wasn't he in Jorvik or. No, I, th I think he's in Sussex. Uh, I don't know. But I think we're gonna do this one in this episode, next episode, then next episode we'll go to Essex and then continue from there. Or we'll go here and, uh, because I'm pretty sure Vinland is where Gorm is. So, yeah. But right now, let's just focus on Sussex. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd, but we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. Well, yes, it would be better to get more allies. I think we should go to Sussex now because Sigurd has already been away, which for us seems like only a few days, but for them it's been probably almost a year, so we need him back as soon as possible. Not to mention if he's with uh, Folgy, no telling what she's doing to him. We can't let him wait. I will go now, and I will bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croydon by now. One man. A great and powerful warrior. And of course his name is Igni Ghostface. Oh yeah. He is... He was definitely perfect for this choice. Okay, Basm, where the heck are you? There's a lot of my allies here. Hi. Oh, uh, I think that's uh, a a uh, Yorm skin that I can recruit or something like that. I don't know. Wait, brother. Not since it almost burned to the ground. All those charred roof timbers really let in the light. I heard about that. Okay. The whole waterfront up in flames. 
Well, that aside, we are making great strides to improve the lives of its people. Yeah, I had a feeling. You'd be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Gudrun Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl. I'm sorry. You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Guthrum Jarl, Saxon Bane, and Reaver of the South. I am honored to meet you at last. Respect where it's due. I like that. Here's hoping you fight as smoothly as you talk. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we're able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I will not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she-dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendene. But I warn you, these are all we know of. Find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfeeder. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Seeker's last. You had better be all they promised. Eivor, I know you're Eivor anxious. Has many allies together from all over the land. Like these two fine fellows. Brother and Broder, was it? Careful, Saxon. We're here for the killing, not to make friends. Look, Eivor, I know that you're anxious to get Sigurd back, but maybe we should wait for the rest of the army. If we go in there early and unprepared, we're not going to last long. Just saying. Well, we're close. No, you don't. No arrows. Ooh. Oh, that's why, because he was <laughs> swinging it around. And now we have to make sure that little scout boy doesn't go blabbing about us. Nothing personal, bro. It's just personal. Although, I don't know about you, but considering I shot him in the face with an arrow, that is... You will tell no tales to Fulke now. That is clearly coming out of his mouth, and then he burned. Now he got stabbed. Now there's a trap under him. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be telling anyone anything. 
Uh, also, I will be returned to pillage this place. Okay, 660. Let's go for this one. Yeah. Won't be gentle if they spot me. Where's the scout? Wait, what? Oh, wait. I still got a little ways to go. Patrols the riverbank north of Crowley. Hmm. Go, Sudan. Not gonna lie, the Raven's kind of pointless in this game. Like, yeah, it's useful, just eh, not as useful as the birds used to be. Where the heck is this guy hiding? Guards here are vigilant. Full case scout. Right where Basin said he would be. God won't let us lose. And well, that was rude. Here's my rebuttal. Since you're the rudest one. Come on. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. Here you go. Also, it kind of makes me wonder. I should show this to Basim once I've dealt with the others. Kind of makes me wonder what exactly, like what organs is he stabbing exactly? Okay, you guys can do whatever you want. I'm out of five thousand. So apparently there are some Nazca lines here. If I had to guess, it's of a man with two spears. Huh. And apparently we got a mushroom. They said there would be a scout on this hill. I smell blood on the air. Twas the wolf. Oh. It was a wolf. Yes, wolves. Sorry, Wolfie. I know Odin has a problem with you, but I don't. I love the takedowns, but I hate that takedown specifically. I will never hurt the foxes. Well, gotta confirm. I have seen the scouts. Basim and Guthrum will be waiting in the woods east of Porchester. Shouldn't you still stab him? Yeah, whatever. Anyone comes for him, they're in for a surprise. I guess he was camped out here. <sighs> well. Come on, Wolfie. Let's get out of here. What 
Let's hear the rest of that. The scouts are dead, and you're safely encamped. I told you this would work. Time will tell. Any eye that saw you has been dimmed by death. You are not short on confidence. That much is clear. I have a method, Githram. And though you may not see it, it has served me well. If your method is to risk hundreds for the sake of one, then you are right. I don't. I found something of interest on one of the scouts. Fulke has news of Croindon's fall. She is gathering men and supplies, perhaps to weather a siege. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, it might be months before we can get Sigurd out. Do you still say I'm reckless in my haste, Guthrum? Saxons! Saxons from the west! I say your haste has put us squarely in the shit. Fulke was forewarned. There must have been more scouts than we knew of. What's done is done. Save your breast for the fight. You're mine! Now this is the Assassin's Creed Valhalla that I've been wanting. A bunch of Vikings and a bunch of Saxons fighting in the woods. Touch him! No, you don't. Although I probably should have just stomped him. Here, you dropped that. I personally don't like daggers. Okay, this is why I hate you freaking knife guys. Fine, you wanna keep doing that? Ha-ha! You have failed in your attack! That's right! I have summoned my inner schnauz! <laughs> the Saxons falter! Run them down! Trample them into the mud! Hello! She really watch behind you. Hello. Goodbye. It's time to die. But that wasn't very rude. You ruined my rhyme. Oh, I was about to say, you look nothing like whatever the actors were. I thought they said Kingsman. I forgot the actors' names in the sh in the movie, which is sad because it's, they are one of my favorite movies, even though I haven't seen the second one yet. Oh, brutal! No, you don't. No, you don't. See, that's how you do it. Oh, I should have been using the poison. 
Because if I kill people with a poison attack, then it makes like a poison cloud around the area. You're not going anywhere, buddy. Oh, dang it! Pull back, you dogs! Back to Porchester! They flee like rabbits, slow ours. Leave him! The day is already won! Not impressed. You bear your false deities like a plague to this land. But you know nothing of those who truly decide our fate. I decide your fate today, Saxon. I am ready for my final journey. Let me see what lies beyond. When you see your guard, tell him I sent you. He is dead. You are wounded, Broder. Let me bear your brother to the camp. He was always quicker than me. Beat me out of the womb by mere moments. Now he has beat me to Valhalla. Even in death, he had to be first. This crow feast is my doing. No blame stains you, Eivor. He cut his own path. He always did. For him, there is no more strife and pain. Only glorious battle and the forever feast. I could have sent a message with that guy, but I want Falky to know, I want her to be surprised when we spring our attack. Plus, he killed Brothier. I wasn't going to let him live with that. I warned you the risk was too great! Peace, Guthrum. It is Fulke who merits your wrath, not Eivor. You have not seen the half of my wrath. How many of my men now lie dead on account of this glory hoarder? Many have died, my friend here among them. The fault is mine. Knowing that is shame enough. Small comfort that is to the dead. What happened here? Uba, Soma, you come at a black hour. And too late to bloody our blades. Most a pity. I hope to take Porchester with this one. But Folk is forewarned now. I have no more appetite for this. I will go west. Go then. But no, you leave me in a time of need. What you need is to swallow your pride, raven feeder. Listen to wiser heads than yours. Eivor. I will hear you, Guthrum Saxon Bane, if you wish to speak your peace. You want your Jarl back? You must be cold as frost. Bravery is your enemy as often as your friend. We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, strike swift, gather your allies, pick your moment. Then, and only then, you crush them. 
You can triumph yet. Go with the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, the wit of Freya. Go and find your brother. Gudrum spoke in anger, but there is wisdom in what he says. I heard and heeded. I'm not too proud to admit my mistake. Then there is wisdom in you as well. We will wait for our allies before the final attack. Until then, we have work to do. First, we need a new camp. The Saxons think we have retreated, but we will draw even closer. Here. Arrive unexpected. Erke, Stowe, ride there ahead of me. Together, we will bring them down. It brings me no pleasure to fight my own people. But a debt is a debt. We will leave immediately. Besides, they're men of Vesex, Alfred's folk. No brothers of yours. After that, we should strike at Fulke's supplies all across Sussex. Yes. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, we will lose our chance to rescue Sigurd. The letter I found on the scout mentioned Bridgeworth. Gildefort and Crowley. They produce weapons in Crowley. Food in Gildefort. Bridgeworth is a stronghold. Many Saxon swords there. Uber, I need your axe arm at Gildefort. Soma, you and your men will aid me in Crowley. Count on us. I will go to Bridgeworth and take a measure of things there. Good. I will join you after I've dealt with the Saxon camp. A lion's heart and a crow's cunning. Guthrum judged you too swiftly. We have work to do. Let's be about it. Soma and Uber, I apologize. I would have liked to offer a better welcome after your long journey. I'm only sorry we could not be here soon. We need a short while to organize. Wait, well, I thought that I. Okay, so we're gonna go regroup with uh, Stowe and them and see what we can do and depending on how long it takes that might be the end of this episode If my wolf would find a road So yeah Be right back Adke, Stowe, ready to attack? I have reservations. Sparrowheart has reservations. Though Mercia wars often with Wessex, these people are Christians. Perhaps I can talk to them to avert more bloodshed. Dude, I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, I'll go with this one. No sense raising the alarm. I will take care of them quietly. Be ready to come to my aid. We have your back, Eivor. Look, Stowe, I get it. You don't want to kill your own guys, but... These guys are not your friends. You go in there and try to talk to them. They're not going to care. Stay still, mine Fräulein. Hello. No. <sighs> uh. Normally, I would try to do the double assassination, but I wasn't really presented a good enough position to get someone without the others noticing. No, why did you jump out? Why did you jump out? Why did you jump out? Why? This 
ways quicker. You bet, don't argue. <sighs> He was close enough to the damn grass for you. This is why I don't try to stealth anymore because it never goes right. That ought to help. Okay, how are you still on full health? Oh, I probably could have shot that too and burned most of them. Here, catch. Are you? Is there someone sleeping over there? You know, I almost feel bad about killing this guy. The camp is ours. That wasn't so hard, was it, Stowe? Even one man's death is too many. Now I'm gonna see about destroying full case supplies. Stowe, this is war. War has death. I feel stronger already. Okay. We do the right thing here. At least at home we have the law to guide us. Out here. Oh, uh, okay, I see what I need to do. Because, you know, it, it's impossible for someone to just jump and grab a ladder. Like, seriously, that was... That was clearly in a good enough height where he could have just jumped and pulled himself up. Pulled himself up. Yeah, where he pulled himself up. All is ready? We're a town of farmers and shepherds. This place bristles with swords. One of them is a thane by his dress. Serious men with him, too. Went into the longhouse. If we take care, we might avoid drawing the thane's attention while we burn the grain silos. Ha! <laughs> Was that a jest? Bring them on! Been too long since I met a Saxon warrior worth half a shit. Well, at least Ivar isn't here. Because there's no freaking frack way that we could have pulled anything off with him around. No offense. No offense. He was... As annoying as he was, I will not... I am not ashamed to admit that he was at least a good warrior. Just like how you are good at blocking my aiming. Okay, I see another one over there. Another one right here. Yeah, whatever she said. Here. 
Okay, I think if I get right here, I should have a. It is hard to be quiet with you complaining. Do not take a book. Do not take a page from your brother, please. He had heard the first explosion and run out like, Hey, what was that first explosion? <laughs> this dude seriously just lit himself on fire. Okay, we got another one. Okay, we got another one over here. Wait a minute. Well, that didn't do shit. But wait. Why don't I ever think to do this? You are taking on your brother's tendencies. Okay, we got... I think we got one more left. Thanks, Uba. For everything, I guess. Uh, I think we got time for at least one more. So yeah, BRB. Soma, what is happening here? Bandits taking advantage of the disorder in Suffolk to fill their pockets. Odin smiles on us today. Let us make sure this place is burned to the ground. Fulke will get no more weapons from here. We could charge in while they are distracted, but it would be safer to use fire arrows. Let's try fire arrows. We burn them from afar. Watch them scatter like cats. A sound decision. I agree. Archers, take your positions! Stand ready, Eivor. When they see us, they will charge. We must defend the men. I guess my torch went out. They will not get past me. You handle him. There you go. Huh. Draw dropping. Hello. Okay, you're getting annoying. You're dead. Oh, 
I seriously love that if you land light attacks that it refills your stamina. Otherwise, I would have been screwed on many occasions. Enough to keep us busy. You okay there, buddy? Get a little of the glitchy glues? Forges have been destroyed. No more weapons will be made here. Well fought, Eivor. My archers and I will return to camp and await your further orders. And I shall go meet up with Basim and we shall take on the last of the supplies. In the next episode. Because, yeah, we, gotta f we don't have enough time to do the other one because I don't know how long that one will last. So, yeah, we're going to end it here. In next episode, we'll meet up with Bassam and go do that one. Yeah, look, you see? That's clearly a hunter with two spears and a derp face. All hell, two spears, hunter, derp face. Ugh. Man, this place is freaking huge. Because, yeah, you can go over there. That's actually where I got the axes. Well, one of the axes. <sighs> but, yeah, we're going to call it here. And next episode, we will meet up with Basm. So, yeah. That is going to be it for this episode. So, with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching. If you like to subscribe, leave a like. And as always, please leave me a comment down below. Because comments are the that I can improve on these. And I love chatting with y'all. Now, if you want to chat with me directly or check out updates on the channel, check me out on Twitter at Angelis Gaming. And with all that being said, I will see all of you in the next episode.